Welcome to the Board of Trustees meeting for December 30th, 2015. As always, we'll start off with a moment of silence and then do the Pledge of Allegiance. The moment of silence tonight will go to Patricia Duber, who was a devoted wife of 69 years to the late Albert E. Duber and loving mother of a former trustee, Al Duber, Stephen, Janice, and Diane. She passed away on December 23rd, 2015, surrounded by friends and family, so let's take a moment of silence for her. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll start with motions for consideration, Mr. Luby. Motion 2015-209, approve the minutes of the Board of Trustee meeting held on December 9th, 2015, and dispense with the reading. I move motion 2015-209 to approve the minutes of December the 9th. Second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion passes. Motion 2015-210, approve bills for payment. I move motion 2015-210 to approve bills for payment. Second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion passes. Motion 2015-211, approve the payment of overtime for pay period ending December 8th, 2015. I move motion 2015-211 to approve the payment of overtime ending December 8th. Second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion passes. Motion 2015-212, approve the payment of overtime for pay period ending December 22nd, 2015. I move motion 2015-212 to approve the payment of overtime ending December 22nd. Second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. yes. Motion passes. Motion 2015-213. Approve the hiring of Joan C. Gillespie as part-time greenhouse nursery coordinator at fifteen fifty-four per hour, effective January fourth, two thousand sixteen. I have my motion twenty fifteen to thirteen, approving the hiring of Joan C. Gillespie as part-time greenhouse nursery coordinator, as noted. Second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion passes. Motion two thousand fifteen to fourteen, approve the promotion of Corporal Richard J. Schmaltz. To the rank of sergeant, effective January 10th, 2016. I move motion 2015 to 14 to approve the promotion of Corporal Richard J. Schmaltz to the rank of sergeant. Second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion passes, and that swearing in will be at a later date to be determined, so we'll let you know at another meeting. Motion 2015 to 15 approve the promotion of Charles D. Wagner from part time firefighter EMT to part-time firefighter paramedic, effective December 31st, 2015, per the collective bargaining agreement with the Delhi Firefighters Association. I have a motion 2015 to 15, approving the promotion of Charles D. Wagner from part-time firefighter AMT to part-time firefighter paramedic. <clears throat> Second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion passes. Next, we do have one presentation tonight, Mr. Landrum. All right, I'll do it from here. Um, we have a certificate of recognition. I think everybody might be able to know who for, for Mary Jane E. Klug, the Ohio Township trustee in recognition of four years outstanding and invaluable service to the community. Congratulations and thank you. Um, people don't realize how much work goes into being a trustee. They only see it on the TV or see pe you know, people wave in the parade or something like that, but there's a lot of things that go into place and uh, uh, this actually makes, uh, we were just talking about it, uh, uh, Cheryl was here as physical officer but uh, Mary Jane will be the last trustee going as far as that uh, hired me three and a, uh, almost three and a half years ago. So I, I deeply appreciate that. Uh, but it's been a pleasure working with you and on behalf just like to present that and if you come down and we'll get a picture real quick.
Thank you, Pete. All right, next we will move to trustee correspondence, and we'll start with Trustee Klug. Ah, I have a little something to say tonight. <laughs> I don't usually write it down, but... So being that this is my last meeting, first of all, I want to wear rose starts, a really um, good opportunity coming in, and wish you the best. Um, I'd like to say to the citizens of Delhi Township that it's been my s sincere privilege and honor to have served the community over the last four years. Thank each and every one of the citizens for allowing me that privilege. I'm so blessed for the family that I have who has put me here today. My husband, Jeff, my kids, Lewis, who's not here yet, Max, of course, Caroline, and uh, our parents, extended family and friends that helped me to achieve this goal four years ago. I want to say that I've taken pride in all the decisions that I've made here at Delhi Township, but one, one of the most important decisions I feel that I made with um, the existing board at that time was to bring on new leadership for Delhi Township. And I can't say enough about Mr. Pete Landrum. He was brought on as our administrator, and he has done an, an excellent job. And I wish you, Pete, the best of luck as you go forward. I also want to say thank you to all our department heads. Every one of you guys, we couldn't do what we do at Delhi without your leadership, um, keeping the, the, the uh, actual community safe, the parks clean, the streets paved and cleared, handling all the zoning issues, and um, you all do a fine job as well as the employees. I want to thank my fellow trustees, Will and Cheryl, and um, Jim Luby. For, the, for working together over the past couple years and uh, accomplishing a lot of things. Stable funding sources for our safety services, acquiring property to build a new firehouse, which was much needed. Also acquiring property to expand our park system, hopefully have a new soccer field down on Cleese Warsaw. And also approving the strategic economic development plan, Plan the Pike, which was no easy feat to go through. And I wish them all the best as they go forward. As I leave my position as trustee, I know the township is, is going to continue to thrive and prosper under the leadership of the Board of Trustees. And the citizens of Delhi will have a very bright future. And I hope everyone has a healthy and happy new year. Thank you. Trustee Seavey? Most of all, to Trustee Kluke. I wish you the very best going forward. I know you have a lot going on in your life, and as a Delhi resident and as a Delhi trustee, I've appreciated the fact that you've prioritized family first. Um, you have a great group there with Lewis and my buddy Max and Caroline, so you've got a lot on your plate and a lot of good things will come to you. Thank you for your time at Delhi. Thank you. And as Trustee Klug, I can tell you it's been a pleasure working with you over the last two years. Um, I mean, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, and what you just said, all the things we accomplished from the department heads, we had a lot of new hires. We had the fire department acquiring the property, the redevelopment plan. Things we did in the last two years and show a united front, I think, was important for the township. So I, I, I can't say enough. I mean, it's been fun for the last two years, and, uh, you know, I hope you the best. Thanks, Will. A uh, report from the fiscal officer. Mayor Jane, just like to throw my two cents worth in as well. Um, again, it's been a pleasure serving with you these last two years. And I also like to compliment the board. Uh, the way that the three of you work together, um, you've set an excellent example for boards in the future. And um, just wish you the best. Thanks, Jim. There are no public hearings tonight. There are no reports from departments. So we'll move to reading resolutions, Mr. Luby. Resolution 2015-247, resolution approving purchase order obligations incurred on behalf of the township by the township administrator, authorizing payment of certain purchase order obligations and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second, the adoption of resolution. Any discussion on this resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion, dispense with second reading. All those in favor of the motion, dispense with the second reading. Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-248, resolution authorizing transfer from one appropriation item to another, pursuant to revised code 5705.40, and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. 
Second the adoption of the resolution. A discussion on this resolution, Mr. Landrum. Uh, just a couple end of the year transfers, uh, last ones. Um, total of about $35 moved around in various uh, salary line items to other salary line items. And a total of uh, $400 moved from office equipment to office supplies. And that's it. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion sends with second reading. All those in favor of the motion dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015 249, resolution appointing financial advisory board and restating the organizational structure and responsibilities and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution, Mr. Landrum? Uh, for the following uh, 2016 year, uh, the uh, FAB board that we currently have for, that served in 2015 that we just recognized what, a month ago, um, they're staying on as far as right now. Um, so uh, we've got a lot of things to do in 2016, and we look forward to working with them, and we appreciate their volunteers. It's uh, a, lot of, a lot of work, uh, and we appreciate it. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Clude? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-250. Resolution appointing Clay L. Tharp to the Delhi Township Board of Zoning Appeals, pursuant to revised code 519.13 and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. <clears throat> second the adoption of the resolution. A discussion on this resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion dispense with second reading. All those in favor of the motion dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Clude? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-251. Resolution appointing Dale J. Weisker to the Delhi Township Zoning Commission pursuant to revised code 519.04 and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-252. Resolution entering into service agreements with Vertical Systems Elevator for service and maintenance of the elevators at the administration building and the fire station headquarters authorizing and directing the Director of Public Works to execute the agreements and equipment and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. <clears throat> second the adoption of the resolution. A discussion on this resolution. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-253. Resolution declaring 2009 Cairns Model 1010 Firefighter Helmet no longer needed for public use, obsolete, unfit for the use acquired, has no value, authorizing disposal thereof, and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. A discussion on this resolution. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-254. Resolution entering into an agreement for professional services with McBride Dale Associates, Inc., DBA McBride Dale Clarion, to assist the Zoning Commission with its review and implementation of the Delhi Township Strategic Redevelopment Plan recommendations for a possible text and map amendment to the zoning resolution, authorizing the Director of Development Services to execute the agreement and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution, Mr. Landrum? Uh, yes, we just had... Uh talked about this. This is a strategic redevelopment plan. This is the results of that, uh, which we will be uh, reviewing all the uh, zoning. This is phase one. Um, we will be splitting the changes in the zoning, reviewing the zoning uh, codes into two parts. This will uh, specifically take us about six months, a little bit longer than we had originally thought. Um, and at that point in time, we will be doing the main area, the main business corridor and the commercial property areas for looking, making sure the zoning. The second part
part will be, again, uh, more of the residential component. Um, so we're trying to set our priorities straight in which that would be the, the main business corridor with the main commercial and mixed-use property areas, specifically with, within our uh, three um, catalytic sites that we are uh, interested in re, uh, trying to get redeveloped. So this is phase one. Uh, we may be able to squeeze in phase two uh, at the end part of this year if that's the board's will. I move to dispense with second reading. Second the motion dispense with second reading. All those in favor of the motion dispense with second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mr. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-255. Resolution restating the Parks and Recreation User Permit Fee Schedule for 2016 for permits in connection with the limited or exclusive use of facilities and participation in programs within the Parks and Recreation Department and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with the second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-256, resolution adding the position of Community Development Director and amending the position of Administrative Assistant in Article 12 of the Delhi Township Amended and Restated Summary of Policies dated January 1, 2014 and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second, the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution, Mr. Landrum? Uh, just a couple of changes, and uh, actually this is, we won't see the results of this for a little bit, uh, but this is really consolidating two positions into one. Um, and the second part of the uh, position, uh, the administrative assistant position, it is really adding uh, a confidential uh, clause into that because she sees con confidential material uh, so we wanted to maintain confidentiality the other part is uh, getting played out as far as it's not a true addition it is a new position but it's not an it is not an additional person so to speak um, it actually will be a reduction once this is in place so I don't want uh, people thinking we are adding more staff or something that's uh, not the case actually when by mid to late year it will be a reduction of staff um, so that's this one and the next one sets the pay and does the modifications of that I move to dispense with the second reading second <coughs> motion dispense with second reading all those in favor of the motion dispense with second reading yes. yes Mr. Luby please call roll Mr. Oswald yes Mrs. Seavey yes Mrs. Klug yes resolution passes resolution 2015-257 resolution setting staffing levels and establishing pay rates during the fiscal year ending December 31st 2016 and dispensing with the second reading I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution second the adoption of the resolution any discussion on this resolution Mr. Landrum yeah, as I referred to, this really just kind of matches and coordinates with the previous. When you have to add uh, a position title, you have to change, uh, add the pay scale to it. So that's all this does. Okay. Uh, I second the motion. No, I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense. <laughs> Second the motion dispense with second reading. You all, those, me up. all those in favor of the motion dispense with second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-258, resolution amending resolution 94-33 to extend the exemption of improvements for an additional 15 years and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution, Mr. Landrum? <laughs> this this passed with the governor's budget bill and what this allowed us to do is any of the TIFs uh, tax increment financing uh, that were in place prior to December 31st uh, 1994 which ours went into place May of 1994 so we are uh, one of the townships that had a TIF in place uh, this allows us to extend it uh, the old TIF uh, allows us to do many things with the township. It's primarily our capital improvement. Um, it allows us to purchase our police cars, our ambulances, to build our new firehouse that we're getting ready to, to build or pay for our old firehouse that we did. 
Um, so it's enabled us to, you know, the new roofs, the new boiler, the, you know, I mean, we can go on and on um, with that, new equipment for, you know, uh, for roads, uh, half a million dollars every single year uh, goes to improvements of, and pavement of roads. Um, so with that, it helps out every single department. Um, I could spend the rest of the night just explaining how a TIF work, but basically with this, we're getting about 31% of our bang for our buck by continuing to do this TIF, uh, meaning if we did away with the TIF or let it expire in eight years, uh, we would lose about 31% funding off of that. So about $650,000 a year we get from the county because we do the TIF. And uh, that's a you, people have asked about return on investment uh, time and time again. Well, 31 percent, I'll take that every single day of a return on investment. Uh, it is ha has enabled us without it. We would have to raise probably ask for about one and a half mils of levy amount to make up for six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I don't think that's anything uh, taxpayers would want to pay for when we have it right now. Um, so it, it's our capital improvement fund. It also enables us as well to, for future, uh, hopefully we'll be able to engage it real quickly um, in, in a possible uh, uh, TIF for our uh, redevelopment. Um, if that starts happening, we'll also use that uh, for helping us uh, to attract the businesses and um, uh, to, to do the economic development plan that we have laid out. So this extends it 15 more years beyond. It, it, it expired in 2023, so this takes it to 2038. Um, and, it, you know, a lot of uh, townships, I know Green has already, Green Township has already extended theirs, and uh, every one of them that I know of are following suit. Uh, and I think the after all the years that the state has hit the townships, this is at least one thing that the state has done to help the townships uh, survive. Uh, as we, you know, the old TIFs are used for the capital improvements of the township. So that's what that is. Pete, so on the TIF, does it go up over time if the values go up over time? The increment, yes. Yeah. Yep. As, as we have, uh, the TIF, has, I didn't bring it with me, but the TIF has increased the value by 250%. So it, the value, the original value versus the value now has increased since 1994 by 250 percent. So that's a TIF doing its job, meaning, you know, TIFs are to, you know, imp the old TIFs are for, like I said, can be for the capital, it can be for economic development, but it's in t to help people with their property values, to Im improve services for the capital items, to improve roads, to improve, uh, you know, development. And it's done its job by, you know, increasing property values by 250%. So that's outstanding. And, and we have already notified, we properly followed the guidelines that set out. We notified the county. We notified the school districts. Uh, the school districts, I went and spoke to Cincinnati. They're uh, in favor. They're, they're fine with it. Oak Hills is fine with it. Um, and as well as Great Oaks. Uh, they have all signed off on it and uh we're good i don't care are we ready yeah i move to dispense with the second reading second the motion dispense with second reading all those in favor of the motion dispense with the second reading <coughs> yes. yes yes mr luby please call roll mr oswald yes mr cv yes mrs clune yes resolution passes resolution 2015-259 resolution authorizing the issuance and sale of 2,500,000 fire station bonds, series 2016, and declaring an emergency and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second, the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution, Mr. Luby? Uh, the purpose of this resolu resolution is to enter into a bond purchase agreement with PNC Bank. Um, the reason for declaring an emergency is strictly a matter of timing. Um, we're looking to close on this loan at the end of January, and interest rates are slightly rising. So we want to be able to lock in our rate, and this allows us to do that, uh, be able to lock in that rate e immediately. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion dispense with second reading. All those in favor of the motion dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Clue? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-260. 
resolution certifying violation abatement expenses at 817 Sun Creek Court to the county auditor for assessment and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce the move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. A discussion on this resolution. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mr. Seavey? Yes. Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2015-261, resolution declaring nuisance for accumulated debris at 4750 Mayhew Avenue and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. A discussion on this resolution, Mr. Roach. Thank you, Trustee Oswald. We received a complaint on this vacant property of this accumulated debris. Uh, we issued order letters with no compliance. We inspected the property this morning. The violation still persists. So we're requesting that your board declare this property nuisance so we can address this violation with our nuisance procedures. I move to dispense with the second reading. Second the motion to dispense with the second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call roll. Mr. Oswald? Yes. Mr. Seavey? Yes. For the last time, Mrs. Klug? Yes. Resolution passes. Next, we'll move on to citizen comments. Are, is there anything that, Jeff, you want to say or anything <laughs> from the family? <laughs> All right, I don't have any other pink she sheets, so I'll move to. Freudian. <laughs> yeah. I'll move to announcement of community <laughs> events. <laughs> the Delhi Township Christmas Tree Recycling Program will take place Monday, January 4th through Monday, January 11th. Preferred drop off hours are 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We'll be at the Delhi Senior Community Center at 647 Neeb Road and Floral Par Paradise Gardens at 461 Greenwell Avenue. The Delhi Township Branch Library, African American Classics, Old and New, will be Tuesday, January 5th, 2016 at 7 p.m. We'll be at the Delhi Branch Library at 5095 Foley Road. The Delhi Historical Society, Delhi Tales, is written as shared by its settlers will be Monday, January 11th, 2016 at 7 p.m. We'll be at the Delhi Park Lodge at 5125 Foley Road. The Delhi History Society Family History Scanning Stations will be Tuesday, January 12th, 2016. It will be from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at Bailey Wellness and Fitness Center at 990 Bailey Drive. Just a reminder about the uh, Township Recycling Program. The community recycling bins located at the Senior Center parking lot at 647 Neeb Road are emptied on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. In between pickups, every effort is made to keep the recycling bins compacted. If the bins are full when you arrive to drop off your recycling, please return at another time. Acceptable recycling items include paper, plastic bottles and jugs, glass bottles and jars, cartons and metals. For more information, please contact Dan Ryan at 451 3300 there is no need for executive session tonight there being no further business i motion to adjourn this meeting second the motion all those in favor yes yes, yes. the next regular scheduled delhi township board of trustees meeting will be wednesday january 13th 2016 at 6 p.m remember there is a special meeting for swearing in an organizational meeting on friday january 1st 2016 at noon so everyone have a good night and happy new year